Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, starting with the graph of y equals e to the x, we are asked to find the equation of the graph that results from reflecting about the line y equals 4 and the line x equals 2. So starting first with a, let's actually draw the graph of y equals e to the x. So just drawing in our axes here, we have two important points, right? We have the point 0, 1. Well, actually, we're going to need more points than this. I have a double, actually, to fit onto the page. You'll see why. We have the point 0, 1 and 1, E. And other than that, it looks a little bit like this, where it's approaching 0. Then it goes through these two points, and then it goes off to infinity. What we're going to do is we're going to reflect about the y, the line y equals 4. So y equals 1, 2, 3, 4. This horizontal line we have to reflect across. Now, how do we do this? Well, the first thing we have to do is draw what it would look like if it was reflected. So it would look something like this, where we start four units away. So we're going to go four units up. And then as we approach 0, it comes in. And it crosses, and it goes off to negative infinity. How do we actually achieve this? So the first thing we can do is we reflect against the x-axis. So x-axis reflection. And a draw, just as an example, what that would look like. This is the original function. So reflecting against the x-axis looks something like this. And if you notice, this pencil looks like the same as this function that we're actually trying to get to. And that's because it is, it's just 8 units down. So to actually reflect it, we have to shift up 8 units. Then we just add these two together using the transformations that we know. So this is y equals, for the x-axis reflection, it becomes negative e to the x, right? If it was y-axis reflection, it would be e to the negative x, but it's negative e to the x. And then up 8 units, we have to add 8 at the end. Okay, now we're going to do a similar thing, reflecting about the y in x equals 2. And again, it might not seem super obvious at first what we're actually doing here, because it isn't just a standard transformation that you're familiar with. Right, we're not reflecting against the y-axis, we're reflecting y equals 4. And here we're doing y equals 2. So again, getting that same, the same points in. Taking this function. x equals 2 is right here. And if it's going to reflect against um, the function, it's going to look something like this. Right? And note that because we're limited to low x values and low y values, it looks like these don't touch. They are actually going to cross, um, and they're both going to go off to um, negative, um, positive infinity in the negative direction and positive infinity in the positive direction. Um, we just don't have any space to show that here. How do we actually do this? Well, if you notice in a similar way to our x-axis reflection, if we reflect this original function against the y-axis, looks like that. So if we do a y-axis reflection, then that gets us halfway, and we have to shift over 4 to match this function. We're shifting to the right 4. So what does this look like? Like I said earlier, this is negative e to the x is an x-axis reflection, and y equals e to the negative x is a y-axis reflection. We are shifting to the right 4, so that means we have to subtract 4. But it's not here like we're adding 8 at the end. We're subtracting 4 from this x value. And it's good to understand which comes first. right? Are we multiplying x by negative 1 and then subtracting 4? Or are we subtracting 4 and then multiplying by negative 1? By the fact that I wrote this in pen, mating the parentheses, we have to 
multiply the whole thing by negative one. But with these two um, transformations in place, we now have our function. So to take y equals e to the x and reflect about the, y, the line y equals four, your equation is y equals negative e to the x plus eight. And to reflect about the line x equals two, your line is y equals e to the negative x minus four.